Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, a Warhammer 40k edition. So today we have a, another uh, fantastic uh, rendition from Joy Toy in 1-8 scale. It does come in the uh, typical box. It does have some uh, pictures of the particular figure on the back like usual. Um, it does look like it comes with quite a few accessories. Uh, this set me back, I think I got this for $70. That was including the delivery to me in Australia. And um, I think uh, it does look all right in the box, but it's no good in the box. We will get this out of the packet right now. This is a Space Wolves Claw Pack edition, and we will get him right out. As per usual, this is brand new in the plastic. We have not had a look at this guy yet. So we're looking at this for the first time together. And we will have a look. It does come in the standard blister pack that does have its accessories. So it's got his pistol, he's got his backpack, which is all assembled. A nice axe there, and uh, obviously some hand, different hand accessories that you can put with the figure. What we'll do is we'll get him out of the blister pack and grab the figure himself and have a real good look at him just on his own. And as you can see, he is very well done. I like that helm. It's got, it's got a big uh, wolf's head on that helm. If you can see that, the um, shoulder pad adornments are quite nice. I think overall it's another great figure by Joy Toy. Um, we'll have a look on this side on the shoulder pad there. It's got the uh, wolf because this is a uh, Space Wolf Space Marine. It does have the uh, typical feel of movement. It does have the little large, uh, you know, PVC vinyl sort of materials on there. Has the runes, uh, typical sort of uh, Space Wolves kind of uh, accessories that you do get on their figures. They have those Nordic type runes on there. And I think uh, overall, you know, it does move around as per usual. Has that great manipulation that um, these are very well known for. And uh, if you have a good look at the uh, colours and shading, I think overall it does present quite well. But um, let's. Kit this Space Marine out and have a real good look at him. First off, I just want to uh, show you the um, detailed axe. Uh, I reckon it comes up pretty good. Just want to make sure you can see that in some good detail first before I place it on the figure. And also, the backpack as well. Um, it's not your standard uh, backpack. It's, uh, it's got some extra details, which is pretty cool. If you can see that, I reckon it comes up really nice. It uh, is definitely pretty cool. All right, so what we'll do, we better fit this uh, Space Marine out. So this is him all kitted out. Um, it comes up really nice. Uh, got the uh, bolt pistol there for close combat, and obviously his axe in the other arm, and it comes up a treat. It was relatively straightforward to assemble. There was no issues. Everything slotted in nicely. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's got some fantastic detail. That, that, that helmet, that's definitely cool, though. I reckon that looks awesome. But overall, I think the figure comes up really nice. You won't be disappointed. Go around and have a look at the backpack on this side. And it comes up, you know, it's, it's got some, you know, beautiful adornments on there. It does come up a treat. The only thing I will pick on is this empty scabbard here. Um, on the back of the box, there's a blade there that's supposed to go in that uh, scabbard. Well, mine didn't come with a blade in mine. Didn't wasn't any blade in there, and there wasn't any blade in the packet accessory area either. So mine did not come with that. I don't know if that's an issue with this particular uh, Joy Toy one. If any of you have bought this figure and have experienced the same deal, put the comment down below and tell me about it as well. That's the only thing I would, uh, you know, say about this figure is it, it is missing that uh, knife that goes in the scabbard there, um, which is a little bit disappointing because you can see in there, there is a hole in there that uh, a blade can be put in there. So it, it's a bit of a bummer, but uh, such as life, nothing's always ever perfect. But uh, overall, though, the figure is still a nice figure. I, I don't mind it. I think it's still pretty cool. And uh, hopefully you guys do as well. All right, guys, I'll wind this up. And, um, you know, if you found the video helpful in any way, please feel free to give us a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel as well and keep up to date with more 
Warhammer 40k figures that we are putting out, um, plus my usual diecast stuff as well, if you are interested in that as well. But uh, once again, this is 1 inch scale by Joy Toy. It is a Warhammer 40,000 figure. It is a Space Marine from the Space Wolves Claw Pack. And uh, I don't think it's too bad, apart from that little missing, missing knife. But I think it sets up really nicely. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. And you all have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.